Hello everybody, Rich with Our Little Homestead, and today I'm going to take some eggs out of a water glass solution. We're going to see how they held up over the winter, and let's take a look. We put them in solution back June 27th of last year. Uh, we did add some over to the time from you know, July, August, September, and the reason we water glassed them was plain and simple. We don't get any eggs in December and January, parts of February. So we wanted to have fresh eggs during those months, and we certainly didn't want to have to go to the store and buy them. So we're going to take a look. We're going to see how these things turned out, and let's see what happens. Okay, just for you know reference sake, uh, if you can read that, it says water glassed eggs started June 27th of last year. And we put these in a clear container only because we wanted to see what exactly the solution was going to look like. I hope the video quality is okay. Let's pop this open and take a look, shall we? Now, I don't know if you know anything about water glassing. Water glassing is just basically lime water. And here we have a white egg. We're going to put it in this here dish. And let's see what else we got in here. We're going to dig one from down in the bottom. The, the white product that you do see at the bottom of the tote there, that is just lime that has gone out of the solution and has settled in the bottom. Here we have a brown egg. And another brown egg. I wonder what else we got in here. Yeah, we got lots of brown eggs. So I'm going to crack these open here momentarily. So I'm going to rinse these three eggs off just to get the lime water off there and in case there's any other kind of contaminants in the uh, water itself. Okay, so for frame of reference, I'm going to actually, uh, these are fresh eggs from the last oh, two or three days. I'm going to crack one of those and put it in this dish just to see exactly what a fresh egg looks like compared to the water glass egg. So as you can see, we have a nice orange yolk. It sticks very nicely to the bowl, very fluid. And so in this dish, we have a year-old chicken egg. The egg white itself is a little runny but if you look at that yolk look how beautiful that is look how orange and just absolutely delicious <clears throat> and if you compare the two uh, on the top here is a fresh egg and on the bottom is a almost year old egg so i believe that the water glassing has worked i'm going to crack one more egg into the dish here and see how it turns out so as you can see, I cracked the other egg and it's in the dish here. So both of these eggs are approximately a year old and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, water glassing is a age old technique that has proven the test of time and is a great, absolutely wonderful way to store your eggs for long-term use. I accidentally broke the yolk on this one, as you can see, but um, as far as storing of your eggs, I suggest it to anybody. Nico's going to be doing a video on how to water glass, so stay tuned, folks. All right, so I guess I still have about five, six dozen eggs that are perfectly fine. Um, there's no scent to them at all. They just they're just eggs sitting in solution. Um, I'm not sure how long ago the water glassing technique was invented or started to be used. I know it's been around for a very long time. And for you homesteaders out there, you get a surplus of eggs all summer long. I mean, we've been lucky enough to be able to sell a lot of our eggs. Um, but we had to hold some back because December, January, February, no eggs for us just feeding chickens you know and so this technique it's a game changer for us it really is we'll have fresh eggs all winter long and hopefully that bridges the gap between when they stop laying in the fall and when they start laying in the spring so i guess that's it for now be good to one another support your local farms and uh 
take care. See you again soon. Thank you.